I'm coughing. We've left those sands long ago, and it still persists. <clears throat> what does Crest even smoke? <laughs> it's terrible. In any case, I'm better now. I hate to interrupt, guys, but uh, you should come to the mess hall. The table is almost served. Thanks, Stepan. We'll be there in a moment. Shall we go, Artyom? Or shall we stay a little longer? It's so nice. You know, Artyom, I've been looking at Stepan and Katya, you and me, and thinking how lucky we are. It was so different with my parents. It was bad. Did I ever tell you why my mom died? Of course I didn't. It was because of Dad. He used to be even harsher back then. He used to come home from the barracks and reach for the bottle while taking off his boots. They'd quarrel, and then he'd stop appearing for a time. And while he was away, she'd start drinking too, and crying when she was sober. She'd feel better, would get kinda dreamy when drunk. You know how she used to call me, just A. She'd hug me and say, one day, A, you and I are going to go to Vladivostok, the city I was born in, and from there to a village on the ocean shore. I was five back then and didn't really get much, but I could imagine that village and the ocean so vividly because I believed her. And then she killed herself, drank some kind of poison. Father quit drinking after mom's death. Didn't ever pay much attention to me, but with her gone, he'd never leave me alone, took me along everywhere. We only talked about her a couple of times, though. I used to have this doll, Jana. I played make-believe that she was my daughter and we went to the ocean together. Then my father hid it, told me it got lost. He probably didn't want me to agonize over mom's dream. Then I imagine she grew up and went to Vladivostok. And now I'm going, not to Vladivostok, but with you. The dream came true. By the way, I was always intrigued by what dad dreams about. He should have some dreams, so what are they? Higher rank, he could choose any. Saving people? What would the saved do next, sit underground? I never understood him. What does he hope for in life? What makes him happy? Nothing, perhaps. He never really had any time to think about tomorrow. Down in the metro, those thoughts don't come casually. Here on the surface, though. I, for one, have something I want to do. I want to run through the sand barefoot. Build a sand castle for the kids. I'm imagining two. A boy and a girl. The boy would be a copy of you. We'd go swimming with mountains behind us. Wooden houses on the shore. The sun would wake us up every day, rising from the ocean. That harbor is our destination. Worth going there even if we have half the world to cross. Everyone should have a destination. A point on the map where they aspire to go and where one could finally be happy. All our guys have their own. Duke used to have one. We broke out of the metro and are now starting to scatter. Not at once, of course. At first, we're all still running together, searching. But eventually, each of us will find a point like this and stay there. I don't know where my dad's destination is. Don't know where yours is either. But I know I love you a whole lot. Go, Artyom. I'll rest some more and join you later. What do you know? 
Everything is perfect, Artyom. Follow us. clicks behind us. We have been through a lot. Duke. All right, people. I do understand I can't keep it a secret much longer. After a careful study of the satellite maps we've obtained <laughs> and much deliberation, we found a place we could call our new home. <laughs> it is a river valley. There's forest and a hydroelectric power plant. Yeah. This place is quite far from densely populated areas, which, as our journey has proven, is important. We're about two days away from it now. So, congratulations, yeah. everyone! Yeah. 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 Yet, this is not our last order of business for today. <coughs> Stepan, Katya. Oh, Prince! Stepan, Katya, repeat after me. I take you to be my spouse. I take you to be my spouse. And vow to hold you from this day forward. And vow to for hold you from this day forward. For better or for, better or for, for worse. For richer, <laughs> for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish to and until to cherish death do us part. To us part. As the captain of this ship, I hereby pronounce you husband and wife. Live long and be happy. Oh, and Gorka! 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 What's happening? Be careful, people! Anna, please hold on. What's happening? What is it? What's that car? The Casita! Do something! We're only with us! The Casita! Damn! Damn. <sighs> I'm sorry, I didn't say anything. What are you talking about, baby? In the Yamantau. When they dragged me away, <laughs> that ghoul doctor said my lungs were falling apart. The gas I breathed in that ammo dump said I don't How have lungs. How can you believe that monster? We've just been through a desert and all that sand, so that might be the reason. Katya, Artem, a few words. Go. I'm fine now. I 
I don't know about this. The old man is furious. Oh, our team's getting shoot out today. It's not Artyom's fault. I feel like I stood the bunker all by myself. So, son, care to tell me what do we do please. now? Let us not panic and think constructively. So, Katya, what do you think? I think that trusting some degenerate's diagnosis wouldn't be wise. A move from humid metro into the desert with its dry heat and sandstorms is a stress for us. Yes, I do think she'd be hit really bad right off the start. Had it my been thoughts gas. exactly. Thus, first I'll check her condition to the best of my knowledge. Also, we're approaching the valley with its forest air. That alone could kill her. I'm sorry to intervene, but did something happen? Oh, Anna coughed out some blood. Oh, God. Do you really think it's the same? Sounds more like TB to me. That's for sure. TB we can handle. We've got enough antibiotics, and air does help with that. What if... What if that degenerate was right, Katya? What do we do? Is there a medicine? There was an air defense battery station in our village. Right on the brink of war, they received a new drug. It saved a lot of people after gas exposure and general poisoning. I'll check my mom's records and find its name. I think it was produced in Novosibirsk. Right, Novosibirsk. Yermak, your opinion. For Anna's sake, I'd go to the edges of the earth. As for Novosibirsk, it's about 2,000 clicks. Then it's decided. We head for the valley. If it is suitable, we settle there. If our estate worsens, I'll take a group of volunteers to find that drug. So Katya, please, find that name for us. I'll find it. Don't worry. One more thing, Artyom. I want no surprises in that valley. You are our most seasoned scout. So take the rail car, one volunteer, Go check everything out before we arrive. Let's go back for now. Tell Anna and the people to calm down. Now I understand why she was so down. Just imagine thinking about all that for so long. I wanted to tell you for some time, but hadn't had a chance. Anna asked if I wanted to stay back then. Well, sure I did. They were my people, even though I couldn't find any relatives. Besides, there are still lots of bandits to kill there. But the Baron is dead. Now Gul can lead the people. They know those animals can be beaten. Cannon must be beaten. And now they have to fight for their freedom and take it by their own hand. So that not to give it up ever again, despite any odds. Still, the initial push was given by us. By you. I won't forget this, Artyom. And I hope to one day pay this debt back. Kaprakmet, brother. Приехал на фронт со своей молодой женой. 
Полковник Васин созвал свой полк и сказал им, пойдем домой. Мы ведем войну уже 70 лет, нас учили, что жизнь — это бой. Но по новым данным разведки мы воевали сами с собой. Я видел генералов, они пьют и едят нашу смерть. Их дети сходят с ума от того, что им нечего больше хотеть. А земля лежит в ржавчине, церкви смешались с собой. И если мы хотим, чтобы было куда вернуться, время вернуться домой. Этот поезд в огне, и нам не на что больше жать. Этот поезд в огне, и нам некуда больше бежать. Эта земля была нашей, пока мы не увязли в борьбе. Она умрет, если будет ничьей, пора вернуть эту землю себе. А кругом горят факелы, это сбор всех погибших частей. И люди, стрелявшие в наших отцов, строят планы на наших детей. Нас рожали по звуки марши, нас пугали тюрьмой. Но хватит ползать на брюхи, мы уже возвратились домой. Этот поезд в огне, и нам не на что больше жать. Этот поезд в огне, и нам некуда больше бежать. Эта земля была нашей, пока мы не увязли в борьбе. Она умрет, если будет ничей, пора вернуть эту землю себе. Этот поезд в огне, и нам не на что больше жать. Этот поезд в огне, и нам некуда больше бежать. Эта земля была нашей, пока мы не увязли в борьбе. Она умрет, если будет ничьей, пора вернуть эту землю себе. This is definitely about us. There's even a kernel in it. Yes, it is time we took this land back. And one more thing. We don't want surprises like the ones we had on the Volga or in Yamantau. So we're sending a scouting party ahead on a rail car. Artyom needs a volunteer to support him. Me! Pick me! I'll check the hell out of that valley, please! <laughs> Something makes me think that Alyosha is mainly going to check if there are any Amazons or women in general there. <laughs> <laughs> so we're all set. Frankly, I envy you, Stepan. You got a full family, a wife and child at once. And you don't have to worry about diapers or belly aches. Envy is a bad thing. <laughs> we're not the ones to avoid diapers, Colonel. In fact, we're planning to present Nastya with a little brother, if she doesn't object. I'd rather get a sister. We could play with dolls together. I could care for her. You could play Sparta in special operations with the brother. Ah, cut it out, Stepan. God knows we've had enough of operations. I don't know about you, but I'm tired. I'd like to retire. Time to have some life. You can't retire yet. You're too young. <laughs> I am old, Nastya. You're not. <sighs> You said envy was a bad thing, Nadia. Hmm? But what am I to do? Your mom has you, but my Anna doesn't have a smart curl like you. Dad! Don't dad me! A 20-year-old won't even think about children. But I would sure like to see grandchildren at my age. Yeah, you teach them CQC. Dual-wielding pistols. <laughs> <laughs> I could come visit you. <laughs> of course, you're welcome, Nastya. The thing is, Grandpa Miller won't give up until he has grandchildren of his own. Hear that, Artyom? I don't even know what else to say. She's beautiful, sporting. Yeah, I'm Olympic level with a rifle. I get not having kids in metal. 
Darkness TV, rats, mutations. But what about here? <laughs> All right, Dad. We'll get to work on solving your problem tonight. At that note, how about a drink? To repopulation of Earth. To kids. Yes, to children. To children. To children. The stuff is strong. And one more toast to the new colony. May it grow and prosper. To the new colony. Can more women join it? Nectar of the gods. <laughs> Alyosha, I never doubted you. Yes, Alyosha. I don't think you should be worried about that. If we are successful, there will be people joining us. Honest, good people. I'm sure they survive too. Well, if any bad people decide to show up, they'll be sorry they did. <laughs> oh, definitely. When we're done with the bad apples here, we might think of something to do about Moscow. That's true. Come on, impress us. This heat is just unbearable, I must say. As you can see, I'm giving the weapon some care after the desert. Yeah, I hate sand, I must say. It's rough and coarse and gets everywhere. Irritates me to no end. So, as soon as we got out of that hellhole, I started cleaning and overhaul. Yes, it is a mystery, really, how those bandits managed to keep their guns working in that desert. Though their gunsmiths are good. That gun you brought back is definitely custom made. A fine job. And it's been well maintained, too. This just warms my heart. I didn't do too poorly either, even if I do say so myself. I've been led to believe that the Tihar with the new ammo worked wonders in your hands. Yes, in any case, you don't need to worry about the weapons, Artyom. I'll have them in mint condition by the time we make our next stop. <laughs> I can't say I've ever been religious, but right now I'm begging all gods, please, watch over Anna and make the valley cure her of her affliction. In the meantime, Alyosha and I are on a recon mission. We have no idea of what is waiting for us there, though Alyosha seems convinced that there are going to be crowds of women eagerly anticipating his arrival. If that turns out to be the case, then I have the best companion possible for this mission. 